this video's going to be involved with the production of an ornament. It's a completely different system because ornaments can roll like this. They roll. There's no magnet on there. It's just roll. It's one piece. So I use a lid like this. And um, I use these from old uh, baker boxes. You can also order these online, just lids, just lids themselves. And what I do is I'll open the box up again before I'll, I'll take everything out. And I'm going to do one sleeve at a time. And again, I would open it up. Like I did. Be very careful, otherwise you might scratch this very first one. Now I dump it out. And then you'll notice on these, there's a gold, I don't know if you'd see that, there's a gold ribbon we call it. Looks like this. Gold ribbon. And then the, mag, the ornament is inside here. Okay, that's how it's packed now from uh, when we get these from Vietnam. All right, now, what I do is I dump them out before. I do everything in the center, and as I do this, I will try to have, see the butt of this, this bottle, like this. I'll hit that so it falls out. If it doesn't fall out, then I just reach in here and grab it. Grab it. this ribbon here. Okay? It's just a string. It's in gold. Again, you do the same thing. Sometimes they they stick like these. I'll just, just do a few of them like here so that one falls out. But the ornament kind of sometimes sticks. I try to stay as low as I can. Up here I'm using my shoulders too much. I try to stay down. And then I shake it a little bit. And it comes out. Sometimes it comes out. Sometimes it doesn't. So you just pull it out real quick. But I do that with all of them. I'm all 15 of them. Put these by the side. And so I have... It looks like this. These are all on the bottom. Okay. I take these and I put them off to the side. And then I will put them in a bag like this. Okay. And I will take them and I put these in here. And put them in here so they can be safe for later on. And I line up the bottles with the head of the bottle facing away from you. And on the other side, they face towards you. So you have all these along here that are, that are towards you. And then the other ones are facing away from you. The reason why is that I want... I'm going to turn this box around when I paint for the other side of it. Now, that's how I unload an ornament into the box area. Now, doing the painting, I would use again, let me move this over to the side, because we know how to box up the ornaments now. I would keep this over here like that. I have my paint board. And if you're ever using gold paint, uh, this is gold. This is gold plate. That's what I have. From, and it comes at Ace Hardware carries this. I've never found any place else that has it. But it's gold plate. Then I have a chrome. And then I have a copper. And those are the three metallics that I use. Depending on what customer. Uh, this paint smells smells horrible because it's 
it's a lacquer base, it's lacquer, and the, the toxic smell is unbelievable. So, I do this always in the garage. I do not do it in the house. Um, I tried it once like that, and it smelled so bad that like, uh, Sharon ended up saying to me, get that out of here, so you could smell the whole house up. So, um, <laughs> when the time comes, and you are going to be painting, and it's a brand new container of paint like this, metallic paint finish, I'll show you how to get some of the lacquer off of it so that the paint smooth, is smooth and it doesn't bubble, and it lays down beautifully, okay? Let me see if I can show you one here. See how it kind of lays down really nice. Okay. And then when they when they're all done and I paint it over here, then I just turn this box around and I start painting the other the other, the other row. That's how the procedure goes. Now let me get this board out of the way. Um <laughs> these over here. Um <clears throat> I'm just going to show you here. Again, I'm going to use these as an example. Some of these are not. This one's pretty good. So, these are ones I use from scratch that are not. They don't fit to where I'm at and what I want done. It doesn't come out the way I want it to be. So, I, I will strip these. And um, I use Gogan Goof Off for stripping them. Again, I gotta do the same thing though. I've gotta figure out, you see again how much this is so much wider? So I need to cut those and I gotta watch it when I cut it. Cut the brush again. Is that I just take off a little bit at a time. And you'll notice that that fits just about right. Okay, there's a little bit of a hangover over here, so I'll shorten that a little bit on one side here. Okay, and then it should be right on here. See how it's right on? See how where that is right there? It's the same width, and so I'm going to be consistent when I'm going through here. Now, <clears throat> when you're painting an ornament, <clears throat> This is vital. Take your paint, dab, whatever color it is doesn't make any difference. But when you're doing this, again, you kind of rotate the bottle. You see me rotating with my fingers here? I have my blue gloves on and I rotate. When I'm rotating, let's say I'm starting right here, okay? I'm coming across, and then gradually, I'm taking the tip of my brush and pulling it down a little bit, just a little bit down. So when I come to the very back here, all the way to the back, that it meets, otherwise it won't meet. Okay, and then you'll have a line at the back and it's not going to meet together. Um, again, start the bottle. Again, I would do this in front of me. I would just like this here. And I'm gradually moving this tip downward of just a hair. Because the bottle is round. If you don't do that, it's not going to meet at the other end when you do it. If it doesn't meet at the other end, then you got to go back where it doesn't meet and pull it again and do it very gradual as you're doing it around. Uh, then you paint the top and the eye hook. I don't know if you can see this, but this eye hook right here, the paint <coughs> adhered to it where the eye hook is. 
and I use a 3 30 seconds drill bit. And I don't know if I have one here, but let's take a look. Yeah. And then I will take the 3 30 seconds. It fits in there perfectly and it pops that out. See how I popped out that cold? Just like that. All right. Many times <clears throat> I will have painted, painted everything and I have let it dry and I got to watch when I'm painting because see the back of this, this bottle, see the bubbles there? What happens because it's round in gravity pulls that if you put a little too much paint on there, it'll drip straight down. And the paint will pull off the sides and come to the back. And you got to watch that um, when you're putting these back in each time. I try to keep them in the same position. See how I have the eye look up? And that at least gives me something. The main thing I'm trying to do here, if anything, is you want to have <clears throat> one portion of this paint job has to be straight straight across where the eye hook is right here like that you want to straight across as straight as you can do it okay because when you label it you want to have so it looks really nice across here that a straight edge and then you can label it and, and put a cord on there. It takes practice to do painting bottles, I mean, uh, um, ornaments. Um, so it's just going to take some time for you. Uh, don't be afraid of it. Just keep on practicing with it. Uh, you can always take the paint off. I will always have a white, a white roll of uh, towel paper. And I have this stuff that's called um, Goo Gone, or Goof Off, I should say. Goof Off. It's a stronger than some of the other ones. It's a stronger uh, solvent. And it'll melt this stuff. That melt. It'll take this paint right off, which is beautiful. I do it on painted stuff. I paint. I, if I have to take some painted off, I use that uh, Goof Off. I did that on uh, 200, I didn't let, 200 of, um, of this kind of an ornament, it had red on the top like this, like I've done here, but I found out, I realized that too many of the bottles had little uh, bumps in them, and um, it was little bubbles that were happening after I'd painted, and so I ended up doing, taking it and stripping all 200 off. And redoing them all over again. And uh, that was with a gloss. Gloss paint is very difficult to work with. So I've gone back to just using semi-gloss. And semi-gloss goes around like this. It's really beautiful. It does really a great job. All right. Just to show you what happens there. But it just takes time. I've been doing this for a long time, and I still get it screwed up. But I watch the drips. If the drip is bad, I'll take it up, pick it up a little bit, and I'll take that little piece off, that little bubble off, um, where it's gathered the paint. When it comes down to the to a painted item like this, where it's paint on here, and it's not the metallic, they will drip again. And you see it drip down. So what I do is I do a whole row 